Hi, first grade. You guys have done such an awesome job this week. The next two days, we're just going to complete two independent practice pages each day to wrap up section one before starting section two of chapter 10 next week. So for today, you are going to need out of this math independent practice pages, chapter 10 and chapter seven. This is the first time we're working out of this brand new bag. You are going to need pages 141 and 142. And that is all that you will actually need for today other than a pencil. And right now I'm just going to walk through with you how to complete both of these pages. If we take a look right now at page 141, one and two are what we talked about on that first day this week, counting by tens, writing those numbers, and then realizing when we make that switch to counting by ones. And that's when we see, when we see these three dots in between the lines that tells us, okay, counting by tens, counting by tens, counting by tens, Okay, now we're not, right? Because we see there's no three dots. There's just a number and then a line. We make that switch to counting by ones. So my suggestion would be maybe to count what you see up here first. So each bundle is a bundle of 10, each bundle of apples. Then you have your ones outside of here. And that will help you with being able to write your groups of 10 down here too. And you'll see that they have 10, 20, 30. So then you would go on to that next group of 10, which would be, 40 and then you continue until you reach right here where then you count by ones and you write down your numbers counting by ones and then finally it says there are blank apples you write your final number right there and if you want to double check what you have written go back and count the picture again and then you're going to do the same exact thing but for number two a different amount and it's actually eggs this time Okay, and it's a greater number. So you'll see there's a greater amount. That is page 141. For page 142, all you are doing is counting and then matching it up to the B that has the same number as flowers that you draw the line to. So you're looking at the groups of flowers, you're counting. My suggestion would be to count and write the number off to the left of it and do that first. Like I count all these flowers, write my number, 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 and then match it. And then it's pretty simple for you for matching it. All of these are bundles of 10. So for example, if I count, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, then I would write the number 80 off to the side. Okay, then again, all bundles of 10, bundles of 10, and then one. So you count your tens, clap, then count your ones, write it off to the side, same thing down here, and then you match them with the lines. And then all you'll do, boys and girls, is post a picture of pages 141 and 142 next to each other and put it on one post on portfolio. And that is it for today. All you have to do is complete these two pages. And if you want to color any of the pictures on these pages too, you can go ahead and do so. All right, first grade, have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.